iOS 26 is finally here and it is packed with new features and changes. And of course, with this software update having a ton of new features and changes, there are always new features that we discover that are super useful and I think every iPhone user must know. Now, another thing you must know and do is that most of you guys actually are not subscribed to the channel. So if you're enjoying the videos and you want to see more of them, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel a lot. And first of all, we're talking about quick reminders. You can now add quick reminders on your iOS 26 device. You can do that from the control center, from the action button, or even from the lock screen. Just search for reminder right here, and you will be able to actually add a quick reminder from here, from the control center, you just go ahead and add it right there. We'll have all the different features, all the lists right here. Now, what I prefer to do is have this on the lock screen. So you can just switch one of the buttons that you have on your lock screen with a quick reminder. So if you're taking reminders a lot, then you can go ahead and just use one of these buttons right here. Simply go to customize, remove the, the existing one, and then go ahead and just add the reminder from here and you're good to go. You can now create quick reminders directly from your lock screen. Now with reminders, another cool thing you can do is that you can now go ahead and add reminders directly from the phone app. So you get a phone call, you cannot answer it, you have a missed phone call or just a normal call, you can just go ahead and swipe like this and quickly add a reminder to, run, to remind you for that phone call. Now what's really cool is that you can also add reminders on your voicemail, so you will have the voicemails right here. Simply swipe like that and go ahead and quickly add a reminder. Now here's one of the coolest features of iOS 26 on the phone app. When you go to one of your contacts on the phone app, you can now go to the call history for that specific contact. So you can see the full call history for just that one contact. It is super, super useful. As you can see, we have it all here, whether it has been outgoing or incoming, and you will have the dates and the times right there. Moving on to the music app. Now we have quite a lot of new features with the music app. Of course, the Automix one is amazing. Then you will have right here another pretty cool one. When you go to your playlists, now you can actually create new folders. So here I have a folder with a few playlists. So you will have your playlists right here. Now you can actually organize them into folders. So you create a new folder right here, name it, and then you can go ahead and just place your playlists right there within the folder. Moving on to the settings app for another really cool hidden feature, head on to the settings app and then go to privacy and security. And if you scroll all the way down here, you will now find a new section for all your block contacts. So all your block contacts will be right here. So whether you have blocked someone on iMessage, your phone app or FaceTime, everything will be right here. And we're staying here on the settings app. Let's move on to the accessibility settings right here. Now, if you use music haptics, this one is pretty cool. Now you can actually set the intensity for music haptics. So you will have the light, which will, I think, be the default because once you enable it, it's on light. And then you will have medium and strong as well. And you can play samples right here to know how much that will give you a feedback. And here's one of my favorite features of iOS 26. When you're writing a message like this and you leave it, you don't send it, you will now have those messages saved on drafts. That is super useful. So you go back here to your messages list. And once you go back here and tap right there, you can go to drafts, just select drafts. It will filter your messages based on, of course, all the drafts that you have and will show you only the draft messages. Here's another really cool one on the iMessage app. You probably know by now that you can add images as the background of your conversations, just like this one right here. But here's another thing you can do. If someone has sent you a picture, you can actually use a picture that's on the chat right here to you to actually set it as a background for your conversation. Simply tap on the picture like that and they will have set its background and you can just apply it as a background of your conversation. Also, when you go to your contact within the conversation, you will have, of course, their info, the backgrounds. Now you have photos and links. Now, if you see a photo here that you're interested in, but you have a long conversation with that contact, you can now actually just tap and hold and tap on show in conversation and it will find you where that picture is on that conversation. Now, if you use CarPlay 
on your car, you can now have screenshots for your car play. So you go to general right here and then go to screen capture and now you can enable CarPlay screenshots, which is a pretty cool feature. Now here is another great new feature. Apple has finally improved the resolution of the screen recordings that you do on your device. So this is a screen recording taken on iOS 26 and you can see right there 1290 by 2796 and this right here is 886 by 1920. This was of course taken with iOS 18. I believe it was 18.5 and you can see the huge improvement there now with iOS 26. Moving back into the settings app and let's head on to the focus modes right here. We have a really, really nice new feature. So if you go to one of your focus modes or you're creating a new one, you can now actually add a really useful filter. Go right there to add a filter and go to phone. And from here, you can select whichever SIM card you wanna use with that focus mode. So if you have two or more SIM cards, you can go ahead or of course eSIMs as well, you can go ahead and pick any one of them to be used with that focus mode. Now of course the Photos app with iOS 26 has gotten some really really nice updates. Here's one of them. If you tap the share button on a picture, you know that you can use that as a wallpaper. But you will have other pictures as well here. And if I go ahead and select another one, you can see now it will actually convert to create Photoshop wallpapers. So you know that you can set multiple wallpapers on your device. You can now do that directly from the Photos app. Another thing you can now do with the Photos app is that you can choose to enable the spatial scene effect right on the Photos app. So if you want to use a picture as a wallpaper, you can first try it out. Here you will have this little button that basically shows you the spatial scene for that wallpaper. Now here we have this pretty cool look, the new look of the Photos app on iOS 26, but we can change that simply by tapping there. And as you can see, you will have actually different ways to rearrange things and format things here. So you can see like a different like sizes of the albums and all the collections that you have right here on the Photos app. Now with the Photos app, of course, you can reorganize everything here. So you will have here all the media types, the utilities, the pinned ones, anything can be reorganized. Now you can see right here under media types and also under utilities, we have these little section where we have everything organized. Now when you go here, you can actually rearrange these. As you can see, I can just move around here and just of course place the things that I need the most at the top right there. But if you just wanna reset them to their default, you will have this button right there that will reset the order of the media types and also your utilities. Moving on to the podcast app, also some pretty cool features here. Of course, the speed can be changed here, but it can also be changed by simply swiping your finger up and down. If you want to change the speed of the back of the playback of these podcasts, simply swipe up or down right here at the numbers. Moving on to the camera app. So with the camera app, we have this very useful menu where you will have all the different tools that you need. Now you can of course show it by tapping that button right there, but let's say you're on photos. What you can do is actually just tap on photos again, and it will show you that exact same menu. The same goes for video on any of the modes that you are. You just tap again on that mode and it shows you the tools for that mode that you're currently in. Moving to FaceTime, now with FaceTime on iOS 26, you can now tap that button right there and you can actually now basically organize all the calls and everything that you have here. So you can select to see the calls, the missed calls, only the video, the voicemail, or the spam. So you can just basically go ahead and move between these and just see anything you need, not see everything in one place, but just go ahead and see the specific things that you actually need. And last but not least, we're moving to the fitness app. Now with the fitness app, we have a new section here for workout. You can now actually start a workout from here. And it also has a live activities. It works of course, with right there the dynamic island but also on your lock screen so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and found this features helpful if it is smash that like button and subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one